हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू मरीन इंजीनियरिंग हब दिस इज नरेटर रवि गुप्ता टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू बिगिन द पार्ट टू ऑफ द रिफ्रिजरेशन सिस्टम इन पार्ट टू आई विल एक्सप्लेन यू अबाउट द कंपोनेंट ऑफ अ रिफ्रिजरेशन सिस्टम टुडे वी विल एक्सप्लेन अबाउट द कंप्रेशन इन कंप्रेशर फर्स्ट लेट्स सी व्हाट आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट एज द सीरीज ऑफ रिफ्रिजरेशन सिस्टम विल प्रोग्रेस first today i will talk about the compressor after that we'll talk about the condenser then we'll talk about the thermostatic expansion valve and then we'll talk about the different safety device such as lp hp okay so today we will talk about the compressor and we will see how this unloader in the compressor work okay so first see type of the compressor which are used in a refrigeration system first one is a reciprocating type of compressor second one is a rotary vane compressor third one is a screw type compressor in most of the today industry reciprocating type of compressor is used and the material which are used is piston are made up of aluminum alloy cylinder is of cast iron delivery and suction valve is of made up of stainless steel nickel chromium plate why it is made up of nickel chromium plate so that to give this the roughness and toughness and along with the plate type it can be easily open with quick volume and large volume operation crankshaft is made up of spiral graphite cast iron so that to withstand high fatigue stress now let's see that what are the main function of the compressor so why compressor is provided the purpose of compressor in the refrigeration system is to raise the refrigeration gas temperature to such a limit so that it can be cooled in the condenser either by sea water or fresh water so as you can see that if there is no compressor means if the compressor is not there then how the refrigerant will be cooled so to make sure that the refrigeration saturation pressure and temperature can be raised to such level so that it can be cooled by the sources which we have available cheap available sources such as water by sea water or fresh water the compressor is been provided in a refrigeration system now the second question come to our mind okay is there any other option other than compressor to cool the system or to cool the system yes the answer to this question is yes we can use secondary cooling system whose temperature is much lower than the primary refrigerant which will incur an additional cost so to have a feasible effective and cheap solution compressor is the best way to cool the refrigerant by raising its saturation pressure and temperature to a extent that it can be cooled by either sea water or fresh water so i hope the answer is clear now means if we remove this compressor we have to provide a additional refrigerant which will cool this refrigerant okay which will again incur an additional cost okay now we know why compressor is provided in this system now let's see the component of compressor okay first some important component of our compressor is unloader shaft seal and oil separator so today we will talk about unloader and in next slide we will see the shaft seal and oil separator arrangement okay now before that let's see the basic construction of a compressor as you can see this is a number of cylinder unit 1 2 they are again two means four cylinder unit and this is the here this is the oil cooler okay this is the unloader element this is the gas drain manifold and this is the oil chamber okay and this is the gas chamber now let's see the function of unloader why unloader is provided in compressor in a refrigeration system and how it work as you know 
as the refrigerant room is about to reach its set desired temperature the suction pressure reduce so that compressor unloader get its signal from unloading and solenoid energize unload the compressor unit by pressing the suction valve in open position so now what basically it mean to say is that suppose this is the four cylinder unit compressor now as the there are in a refrigeration system there are several room like suppose this is one room like that other two room are there if this room is attaining a temperature so we don't require to run the compressor at the same load we can reduce the load okay so that what we can do we can unload one of the unit of a compressor and let it to run continually till the other two temperature getting reach so how we are doing it we are unloading one of the unit by unloading the one of a unit we are reducing the suction and discharge pressure a little bit so how we are unloading a unit we are what we are doing this is the head of the compressor okay so what we are doing basically with this unloader unit this unloader unit we are pressing the suction valve this is a suction valve this is a delivery valve and this is a piston as it is getting downward this will open and it will the definitely is coming up and as the piston is moving up it is getting delivery now when the one of the room temperature is been attained to unload a system we are energizing through a solenoid we are energizing this unloader and this is manually pressing the suction valve in a open position even though the compressor the piston is in operation at that time what is happening the suction is getting short like this okay the suction is getting short like this and this unit is getting unloaded it means that suppose one of the unit is getting unloaded and as one of the unit getting unloaded the other three is functioning and it is continually operating till other room temperature is reached now the unloading of compressor take place in stages until the desired temperature of a storage room is reached by unloading the compressor in stages the compressor continue to run in particular suction discharge pressure until it stop at low suction pressure so what do i mean by that that the compressor will continue its operation till other room temperature temperature also attain suppose this room temperature is attained before after that this room and this room and ultimately a time will come stages by stages it will get unloaded until the lp trip occur means a pressure is attained where it cannot be operated further low and at that time lp trip will occur which will automatically get reset as the pressure in the line will increase okay so i hope the concept of unloader is clear okay apart from that as you can see a safety spring is provided this is been provided so that to lift up the cylinder cover if any liquid carry over occurred inside a system so i hope the basic concept of a unloader in a refrigerant compressor is clear if there is any doubt please do comment below Thank you friend have a good day image credit goes to mag george